So uh, we will discuss uh, the the concepts which will be used in the sheet four, and that is about the projection of lines. Okay. So in this particular case, we have a line AB. This is the line AB, and this line is inclined to both the planes. That is to VP as well as to the HP. So this is the line. As we can see from here, that this line is inclined to HP. It has different distance from the HP on each of its point, and from the VP as well, it has different distance. On each of its points from the VP, it means this line is inclined to both the planes. Both the planes. For example, we have HP and VP. So this line is inclined to both the planes. Okay. We need to find out the true length of its projections on the projection, and for that, okay. So if we try to look this line from here, from this end. From this end, these will be the these are the projectors. These are the projectors, which will be parallel to each other and will be perpendicular. Okay. So if we try to look this line from the front, so these are the projectors which will be parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plane. So these are the projectors. These are the projectors. Okay. And this will create a projection on the vertical plane of this line AB as A dash B dash. And similarly, to draw the top view, we will look it from the Top, we will look this line from the top, and these are let these are the projectors, which will be again parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plane. So these are the projectors, and when we look it from the top, its top view will be on the horizontal plane, which will be AB, which will be AB as represented here with this dark black line, black line that is the AB. This one. So these are the two views of the line, which was AB. Now we know that that both of these views, that is. the front view and the top view will not give the true length of the line since the line is inclined to both the places both the planes okay in order to get the true length of the line the line should be parallel to one of the plane okay for example if the line is parallel to both the planes that is hp and vp its true length will be observed on both the planes and if the line is inclined to vp for example VP, for example, so its true length will be observed on the horizontal plane, and if the line is inclined to HP, its true length will be obtained on the vertical plane. This we all know that. This we all know. Okay, since this line is inclined to both HP as well as the VP, so these lines, the length of this line A dash B dash and AB will not give us the true lengths. So, but they are giving us, they are giving us the apparent length. They are giving us the apparent length, apparent lengths. Okay, so A dash B dash is the apparent length of the line AB on the vertical plane of the front view, and AB is giving is giving us the apparent length length AB of the top view. Okay, of the top. View. So these are the apparent lengths. These are not the true lengths. These are not the true lengths. Okay, I hope this point is clear. And the inclination also, the inclination these lines are making on the projection is giving us the apparent angle. Is giving us the apparent angle, not the true angle, not the True angle. These angles which these projections are making are representing is also giving us the apparent angle, not the true angle. Since the projection is not true, the projection is apparent. The length is apparent. The angles which will be made by these lines will also be the apparent. So this is the apparent angle of the front view represented by alpha, and this is the apparent angle of the top view represented by beta. I hope these four terms, the apparent angles, apparent angles, alpha and beta. And apparent lengths a dash b dash and a b are clear to are clear to. Okay, now how to calculate the true length and the true angles of the projections of the line? Okay, for that to measure we have a method, and in that method what we are going to do we will follow our basics that in order to get the true length the line should be line should be parallel to the plane so that plane will contain the true length. So we will intentionally make this line a b. We will intentionally will make this line a b parallel to one of the planes at a time so this is the line so if i rotate this line like this so this line will be parallel to vp and inclined to hp so its true length will be observed its true length will be observed on the vertical plane and if i rotate this line like this like this now this line is parallel to hp and inclined to the vertical plane then in that case the true length of this line will be obtained on the horizontal plane so these lengths these basics will be followed so let me just write it that first if the line is if if the line ab the original line ab is inclined inclined 
to VP and parallel to HP. So its projection will look like. How will its projection will look like? I am just drawing that. This is the XY for example. XY. So this will be the inclination of the line. This will be the top view and this will be the front view of the line. This will be the front view of the line. Of course, its true value, true length will be obtained on AB. Will be measured by the length AB. Okay, I hope it is clear. Now, if the line is, the second case could be if the line AB is inclined to inclined to HP to HP and parallel to VP. So in that case, its projection, this is the XY, will look like this. This is the XY line. That it is the XY line. Okay. So this is the inclined projection. Example, this is the inclined projection. The projectors. Yes, projectors. And this will be the top view. This will be the top view. So this will be point A dash. This will be point A dash. This will be B dash. This is A and this is B. So its true length will be measured from the projection A dash to B dash. Okay, let me make it dimensionally correct as well. So let this is the view. Let this is the view. So let this is the view. Okay, so with uh, with these uh, diagrams, we know that that we will get the true length only when the line is inclined to one of the planes, one of the planes. Okay, so we will make this line intentionally parallel to one of the planes. So first of all, let us draw the projections of this inclined line, which is inclined to both the planes. So this is our x y. 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 So this is the front projection. For that to happen, let this is the dimension of A dash. Let this represents the A locus of A dash, locus of A dash, locus of A. So wherever these are matching, I am not going for the, I am not doing the dimensioning that you all know. So this will be point A dash and this will be point A. Now let us incline it. So this is the inclination of the line. This is the inclination of the line that it is inclined like this yes okay let me draw the projection from this point this is the locus the point b similarly let the locus of the point b is somewhere here b. yes so this is the projection so this is the projection of the inclined line which is inclined to both the planes so this is b dash this is b this we can do very easily this angle is alpha, this angle is beta. This we can do. Now, what we have to do? We have to find out the two lengths. So, for, for that to take, let us assume that this, that this line, the original line AB is, this original line AB is inclined to the horizontal plane. This line AB is inclined to the horizontal plane and parallel to the vertical plane. So, this is the new line now. So, this is the new condition or new position of the line which I am representing with the help of blue color. This is the original line. Now, this is the new condition of the line. Now this line is inclined to HP and parallel to VP. Okay, we know that its projection will be like this, will look like this. This we know. This we know. So let us do that. Let us do that. I am changing the color to distinguish it. So this is the line. What we are going to do that this is the line. Okay, this is the projection, top projection. We will rotate this projection like this. We will rotate this projection like this in order to make it parallel. In order to make it make it parallel. Okay, for that to do, let us take the compass. We will need a compass. We will put one end of the compass here and we'll measure it. We'll measure it. Okay. We'll rotate it like this. We'll open it till the length AB. Then we will make an arc. Then we will make an arc. So let me make the arc for that to happen. Yes. So this is the end. So this is like this. This is like this. And then we will extend the locus of point A, the locus of A. This is the locus of A, we will extend it and wherever that will cut the arc, 
wherever that will cut the arc or the arc will cut the locus that point will represent the new position of the point b let us mark that as the b1 that this is our b1 point let this is our b1 point b1 point so this is the new position of the b na which is obtained by making the line inclined to hp only and parallel to vp okay then we will extend we will project this point b1 toward the front view in order to get the b1 dash in order to get the b1 dash like this so this is that projector okay so wherever this projector is cutting the is cutting the locus of the point b that will give us that will give us the b1 dash point that will give us the b1 dash so this is the point b1 dash b1 dash this is the point b1 b1 dash b1 dash okay so this locus this projector is cutting this locus at b1 dash so this is the locus of b1 b1 and uh, b1 dash b n b1 dash clear i hope this point is clear to all now next we need we will need to join the a dash a dash we will join the a dash to b1 dash okay a dash a dash to b1 dash like this okay and a to b1 a to b1 okay a to b1 now this a dash b1 dash which we have joined will now give us the true length of the line will now give us the true length of the line and the inclination this a1 b1 dash making with the axis is the true angle which will be represented by theta which will be represented by theta okay so and in the next case what we will do we will make we will consider that the line which is in question that is ab is inclined to vp only and parallel to hp so this is the new position of the line for our second case for our second part of the problem so here what we are going to do let me take the blue color now let me take the blue color now what we are going to do we will make this line which is a dash b dash parallel to the parallel to the hp like this we will rotate this line like this okay for that to do we will once again will need the compass so this is the compass this is the compass we will put one end of the compass here and the another end of the compass on the b dash point like this just we yes like this on the b dash point this is the b dash then we will make an arc then we will make an arc like this then we will make an arc like this let me zoom this area we will make an arc like this and then we will join we will join it wherever it will cut the locus so it is cutting the locus somewhere here somewhere here now this point is the let this point is the b2 let this point is the b2 dash b2 dash then what we are going to do we will just hold on a second hello now what we are going to do we will once again make the projector from the b2 dash in order to get the its top projection its top projection like this and wherever this projector will cut the locus of b that will be r that will be r b 2 that will be r this point will be r b 2 okay so we will take the line with join it with the help of this point a to a to b 2 a to b 2 now this a b 2 is also also giving us the true length and the angle which it is making with the axis is the true angle of the line true angle of the line true angle of the line the top projection in the top projection that is it will be represented by phi this angle is represented by theta okay this is the, these are the two angles and this is the apparent angle apparent angle which the projection is making this is the angle line is making and this is the angle projection is making which is alpha and this is beta alpha and beta okay now this line a b1 is giving us the the a b1 is is giving us the length is giving us the length of the top view length of the top view this line a dash to b2 dash is giving us the length of the front view length of the front view i hope it is clear now the distance are between these two projectors the distance be between these two projectors the original projectors which were used to make the projections of the line is called as the d distance between the projectors is called as the d is called as the d the distance between the projectors so if i need to project it here so this is the distance this distance between the projectors this one is giving us the d this is the distance between the projectors 
this is D. This distance is known as the distance between the projectors and is represented by the symbol D. Okay, so in this whole problem, we have find out some results. What are those results? Those results are I am writing those results as true length, true length. This is the true length a dash to b1 dash. Or next we have is a to b2. Okay, then we find out the theta. Then we find out the phi. Then we have the important term as locus of a dash. This is the locus of a dash. Then we have locus of a locus of a this line representing the locus of a then we have length of top view this a to a to b1 a to b1 is the length of top view then we have length of front view this a dash to b2 dash a dash to b2 dash is the length of the front view then we have locus of b dash locus of b dash or we can say that locus of b1 dash is well. both are same then we have locus of b this one b or b2 these are same or b2 then we have alpha then we have beta and then we have d, d. so these 11 datas we can find out from this method from this method which i have just explained so if you have these datas you can draw the projections these 12 datas the projections of the inclined line you can solve any questions i hope it is clear to all okay now if we look about this locus the locus of b1 dash and the b dash they are same they are same now this line this line this line or this projector will not cut the line here okay why because what we are doing we are rotating the line this is important point we are doing what we are just rotating the line so if i explain that with the help of these planes that this line is on for example this is the line ab now this line is inclined to both the planes okay there will be n number of planes one plane for example is here okay one plane is for example here some vertical planes will be there okay so these are the planes what we are doing we are rotating this line we are rotating this line like this on the horizontal plane or under the or this horizontal plane one okay for example this is the first position of the point b for example this is the first position of the b and when we will rotate this line and when we will rotate this line ab like this under the horizontal plane like this for example it is reached to here then this point which was here will be here it will shift to here so it is shifting it is moving on a line only na? it is moving on a line only that is why this projection of point b dash is shifted to b1 dash on the same locus and similarly for the point b which is shifted to b2 on the same locus i hope it is clear to all so this diagram and these 12 points are very important in order to draw the projections of a line which is inclined to both the planes thank you